Hey guys, my name is Dash, and today I'm going to be showing you how to submit your first product to UI8. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is click on Submit New Product. And then you're going to start by filling in the product details. So we have this new product called Merge. So we're going to type in Merge UI Kit. Then we proceed to the blurb. A blurb is basically a short description of your product. So for this demo, we're just going to call it Sketch iOS UI Kit. And we're going to price it at $20. For the description, I'm just going to type in hello. But normally, you will want to be as, as descriptive as possible and add at least one paragraph of text. Then we'll proceed to features and compatibility. Under features, basically, you want to highlight six key features of your product. For this demo, I'm just going to type in some random words, but you would want to type in something that is descriptive and relevant to your product. Customizable. Vector base. Hundreds of screens. And updated weekly. Okay, once you have all the features, then you're going to select the compatibility. This product is for Sketch, Photoshop, and Adobe XD. Then we'll scroll down, proceed to the SEO. Uh, for SEO, you want to type in a description. You could just copy paste what you have on the blurb and enter some keywords that are relevant to your product. I have a set of keywords here, so I'll just select those. And then you have two optional fields. One is for a live preview, which is basically for anything that is hosted outside of, of UI8. For example, you may have a uh, WordPress theme or something like that that is uh, in some other website. So you will want to type in the URL here. And if you have a product demo uploaded to YouTube or Vimeo, you will want to type in the iframe code in this field. Since we don't have that for the demo, we'll just leave it blank and proceed up here. Uh, next up is the product card image. So for this demo, I have a set of images here that I'm going to use. I'm just going to drag and drop the product card image to this target here. Let it load. And there it is. And uh, if you click this little icon here, you'll get a tooltip of the specific dim dimensions that you need to upload. So once that's there, uh, you can proceed to the category. And here, you always want to select all products. In this case, we are publishing a UI kit, so we want to select that. And this product is available for Sketch, so we want to select that as well. Sketch has its own category on UI8, so if you have a Sketch product, make sure to always uh, select this option. So now that we have all the product details uh, in place, we should hit Save Product. And then proceed to the next tab, which is images. So in images, we want to start with a hero image. Then proceed to the detailed images. So I have four images here. So for this demo, I have four detailed images, but I recommend that you upload at least eight images. Uh, that way you provide at a glance more information and uh, more visuals to your potential customers. So there it is. Uh, next up, we have full preview images. Full preview images are basically um, higher resolution presentations of your product, uh, similar what, uh, to what you see on Behance, um, where you have long scrolling images. That's, this is where you want to upload these. So I have two of these here. And there's no limitation as to how many images you could add. Um, so you could, uh, you could get really creative in this section here. So let's see, this one's almost done. And almost there. Great, so that looks pretty good. Um, next step here would be to save your progress. It's always good practice. And then we move on to the last step, which is uploading the product files. So again, I have some files here ready to go for this product. 
So we're just going to drag and drop to this field here. And the product file will automatically be named for you. So you could just leave the leave this field the way it is, but if you want to, you could edit, you know, maybe it's a new version of this product, you want to call it two, that, that will be totally fine. Just make sure after you make any changes here, you hit save product. And there you have it, your product, you have all the product details, your product images are in place, and your product files are ready to go. So what I want you to do next is go to the status field here. And you will know that it says development. This means that you're still working on this product and the product is on staging. So what you want to do next is click on this drop down here and select submit it and hit save product. And that's it. Your new product has now been submitted for review and you will also get a confirmation email letting you know a little more about that process and approximately how long it takes. So as you can see, submitting products is pretty simple and straightforward. But if you hit any roadblocks or have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll do our best to help. Thank you so much for watching.